There we go. On a little walk. Back in good old Kems. So we had made it back to Germany after our Italy trip. And we still had a couple of months left here before heading back home to Australia. We took things easy and just enjoyed being home with friends and family. The weather was beautifully warm and for lack of a garden the balcony was our next best bet for some easy outdoor time. This one's having a pool party on the balcony. And this one keeps playing shop. This gate is the shop and she wants to buy chicken and ice cream. Is that right? <laughs> and she's on a new little bike. It's a pretty cool show everyone. How you can ride on it. Now she goes. Nice. But of course we also left the house. There was this lake, Stausi Rabenstein, nearby and on really warm days we would pack up everything and go there to spend the morning. We went to the nearby lake because today is going to be a hot day, 37 degrees apparently. 37 degrees. What do you think? Good. Good. <laughs> And even though it wasn't an Australian beach with fine white sand, we all enjoyed ourselves a lot and got some good swimming practice in. We even got to spot a couple of carps here and there. Just next to the lake was this old fortress called Burg Rabenstein, which had put on a medieval market. We are on our way to the medieval markets, you can already hear it. When growing up in Germany, these were one of my favourite things during the summer months to go to. So I really wanted Izzy, Clara and Mark to experience at least one of those for themselves. Really nice time. <laughs> Good. And everything here is actually 100% worth it. It is and actually I'm, quite nice. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying it. And I had a roly poly bread mm -hmm. with sugar on it. Izzy continued with the violin lessons with our friend Laura and really seemed to enjoy herself. She would often talk about her violin teacher, how much she liked her and that she would play the violin just like her. From week to week she would improve, from learning how to hold the violin and bow correctly to beginning to play open strings and to then already begin to use fingering, all in the span of just four weeks was pretty impressive. We spent most of July in Chemnitz in my dad's home. There was this community garden really close to his flat like we could literally see it from the balcony which we would regularly visit and spend the afternoon. It was nice having a green space like that for the kids and for us. <laughs> Mum will do it, she's strong. She'll hold you up above her head and go all the way around the garden. Mm -mm. No, it's mum. Not mum? Yeah. What would the feminists say? I don't know the feminists. <laughs> <laughs> and one day we decided to visit a zoo in Leipzig, my favourite zoo in the whole wide world. We're going to the zoo. Yay! <laughs> so, as Izzy said, we're on our way to Leipzig to the zoo, which I'm so looking forward to because. First of all, it's the best zoo I have ever been to. Secondly, they've done lots of new things there since I've left Germany about 11, 12 years ago. And um, I really want to see it. One of them is Gondwanaland, which is a massive tropical hall. Plus, they've got their own TV show. They were the original 
zoo TV show. Been going on for years and years and years and years. So I'm very, very excited. Are you excited, Izzy? Yeah. Yeah. It's the show is called Elefanti Go and Cool. And Izzy and I, we've been watching it a few times. And we really like it. Okay, anyway. My dad's getting some fuel. And then we are on our way. So we drove up to Leipzig, about one hour away from where we lived to spend the day there. So, we're at the zoo. I forgot the pram, so now Izzy is on this thing. <laughs> and I have to carry Clara the whole time. Now we're going to where I was looking forward to the most, Gondwana Land, which is a tropical, tropical big hall. Awesome. It did really feel like we had just stepped into Southeast Asia. How nice would that be during the German winter? There was so much to explore in this place. We decided to go on a boat right first. This really made me miss the jungle. a little boat right which was really nice it is like it actually is a bit like Bali or Thailand and the jungle it's so nice up on the canopy little hanging bridges everywhere this is so nice <laughs> At the end of the day, we all left the zoo exhausted but happy. Izzy's brain had been in overdrive from all the new impressions and as a result, she worked some pretty essential stuff out. Your dad isn't my dad, that's right. Your dad's my husband and my dad's your Opie. Mind blowing, isn't it? Yeah. Back in Chemnitz, we checked out some indoor play centers with trampolines, as Izzy was really missing hers and my dad and I took the girls on a little train ride around the local park. <laughs> And this is how our July in Germany ended, doing normal things, hoping to give the girls and their granddad some special bonding time, which is so, so important after everything that's happened and the fact that we just live so far away. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed 
Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed.